this time of year, Supreme Court watchers spend a lot of time talking about what's about to happen. Unlike schools, colleges, law schools, the Supreme Court doesn't come back until very late September and early October. At the end of September, the Supreme Court holds a major conference at which it considers the numerous cert petitions that have been filed over the summer, and it starts to hear oral argument on the first Monday in October. Starting with that first Monday in October, the court will hear two weeks of argument every month through April. Generally speaking, it hears two arguments a day, and generally speaking, the arguments are an hour each with 30 minutes for each side. But of course, there are exceptions to that rule. When the Affordable Care Act was argued, the Supreme Court provided more than three days worth of argument uh, in, in that particular case. And the, Chief the current Chief Justice, Chief Justice Roberts, is more likely to provide those kinds of exceptions than the prior Chief Justice, Chief Justice Rehnquist, who was something of a stickler for staying on a tight schedule. We won't start hearing about cases being decided, though, probably until November at the very earliest. And those cases, those first cases, will not be particularly headline-grabbing, chances are. Much more likely, the headline-grabbing cases, the controversial cases that we're all eager to hear about, will start getting decisions in possibly December, but more likely January and February. And of course, as people who pay attention to the Supreme Court know, they generally seem to go down to the wire to the end of June, uh, at the end of their term, before announcing some of the most significant cases of the term. 